State troopers charged in an alleged bribery scheme. I'm Paula Eben. Federal prosecutors say the troopers, current and retired, were part of a scheme involving commercial driver's licenses. We want to get right to WBZ's Christina Rex, live in South Boston, where the acting U.S. attorney laid out the case. Christina? Yeah, Paula, here's what we just learned. This indictment involves six men, two current state troopers, two retired state troopers, and two civilians. And it's all about commercial driver's license, or CDLs. Those are the licenses you need to drive trucks, to drive school buses, other things of that nature. Now, these require a 90-minute test that state troopers actually give. They have to pass people for those tests. Usually, fewer than half the drivers in the state pass those. But in this case, the U.S. Attorney's Office claims that more than two dozen people actually passed this test in a quid pro quo exchange for goods where they actually didn't pass the test they failed it or in some cases didn't even take it I want to show you some pictures now so this is what was allegedly received snow blowers a repaved driveway worth ten thousand dollars a new mailbox landscaping work those are all of the benefits state police sergeant gary cedarquist allegedly received as the supposed ringleader of this operation in exchange he and others would pass drivers who did not deserve to pass the cdl test their code word here was the golden handshake. Troopers would allegedly text each other, telling them to give certain applicants the golden handshake. And now they're facing 74 charges and potentially over 100 years of jail time for these crimes. The grand jury indictment against these six men includes charges of extortion, honest services mail fraud, conspiracy, false statements, and falsification of records. In short, as alleged in this indictment, the CDLs were for sale and troopers were bribed with free goods to pass applicants no matter how they performed on the test. And just one minute ago, we got a statement from the Massachusetts State Police. It's very long, but I'll read you just a part of it. It says the alleged miscon misconduct of these defendants is the antithesis of and in stark contrast to the values, character, and integrity exhibited by the overwhelming majority of our troopers every day in their service to the public. So two of these six defendants were arrested in Florida. The other four arrested here, and they will be in federal court today. Live in South Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.